Are you curious how long it might take to edit a video using AI enhanced video editing software? Do you wonder if it's possible to create content consistently and also work a full-time job? Well, these are some of the many questions that were swirling around in my head seven days ago when I set upon filming my very first episode for YouTube. But now I've actually filmed, edited, and published my first video for YouTube, and I've made a handful of good effort videos, and I've gained some insights and learned some valuable lessons. And in today's video, I'm going to share the lessons I learned in my very first seven days of being a content creator on YouTube. I'm Allie, and welcome to episode two of the Adventures in Creating video podcast, where I embark on the journey of learning how to create content for YouTube with absolutely no experience whatsoever, but with the assistance of my handy high-tech sidekick, artificial intelligence, who's helping me with my skills gap. As a complete novice in the world of social media and creating content, every step of this journey is a brand new adventure for me. And so I'm excited to share my perspective and my experiences each week on the podcast with you. So this past week was filled with a lot of firsts, some valuable lessons that were learned. I definitely suffered some setbacks and some pitfalls, but I also overcame some challenges. And I have to say my energy and excitement for this process is only more renewed. And now I get why and how people be can become content creators with such passion because it's really a lot of fun and really motivating to be able to create something like this that utilizes so many different elements of being creative. It just makes me wish that there were more hours in the day so that I could still work full time, but also create content. So let's talk about my adventures. The same day that I recorded the footage for episode one, I did what I've now learned is called batch filming. I recorded the entire second episode and I used ChatGPT to ask me some questions, but those good intentions flew out the window when I realized I was missing the last five to eight minutes of that footage where I wrap up the video and say goodbye. It was a bummer, but it wasn't a huge dilemma because my camera and my tripod were still set up in the same spot. So I assumed that I could just film the makeup footage and then splice the two videos together. So then I started the editing process of taking that original footage plus the makeup footage using Descript, which is the same software I used to edit episode number one. So Descript is an all-in-one video and podcast editing software that literally makes the process of editing a video as easy as editing a Word document. The software transcribes the raw footage audio and then makes it possible to edit the video by editing the text from that transcription. I've been an administrator for over 20 years. I know my way around an email and a Word document and creating the rough cut of my video was basically the exact same muscle memory that I have when I'm interacting with these documents at work. Now, I'm not claiming to be a great editor, and I definitely believe that there is a lot of room for improvement, but I was able to get into Descript and create that five-minute intro video without any real significant training other than maybe like a 10 minute kind of onboarding training video that Descript offers. I had no other exposure to the software other than maybe some videos that I'd seen on YouTube in gearing up to edit and learning and deciding that Descript was going to be the editing software that I went with. I am not affiliated with Descript in any way, nor do I even have any inkling of an idea how to go about at this stage in the journey, how to get an affiliate link yet or any of that process. So this is 100% a brand new user's unbiased review and experience of using the software with no prior exposure to the software before last weekend. And frankly and honestly, no exposure to editing a video ever prior to last weekend. So I'm truly a fish out of water when it comes to this subject. Now I do have a long road to go in terms of becoming a good editor, but every journey begins with the first step and so that first video was my first steps into the world of editing a video. And as far as I'm concerned, in that context, I think it's a great product, all things considered. And I went ahead and I ended up purchasing the 30 day, one month subscription, the pro plan through Descript, because I was worried that I would reach the max transcription minutes that they give the free plans. And so based on that first experience, I was like, all right, this is a nudge brainer. I'm definitely gonna sign up for the next 30 days. And so I'm gonna use that software. I'm leaning very strongly toward ordering the year long subscription because I am really fascinated by the functionality and software and features that 
Descript has been emailing me and informing me they offer and I just don't see a world where I would want to leave Descript to go try to learn or navigate around DaVinci Resolve or Adobe, whatever the two P's are, Perfect, Pro, Pro, Premiere Pro. I think it's called Premiere Pro. I don't know because I don't use these softwares. So at this stage in the game, I'm kind of like, I want to really give Descript a good, a good college try to see if I can figure out how to continue to improve. So I do intend on doing more tutorials through the software and learning more about its functionality. But initially I was just thoroughly pleased with how easy it was to use. So if you're contemplating becoming a content creator or if you dabble in video editing, I would strongly recommend checking out the free version, especially if you are someone who knows your way around a Word document. It's, I, I mean, if you know how to copy and paste in Word, you know how to edit a video, it's crazy. But I am interested to know if there's anyone out there who either is already committed to the full year subscription plan and is just head over heels in love with Descript, like I feel like I'm becoming, or if there's anyone out there who thinks that there is maybe a better editing software that I should try once my 30 days up. I'm open to whatever. My intent this year is to challenge myself and broaden my horizons. So I'm interested in exploring all that there is to offer, but at the same time, I like the idea of being able to really hone in on one software and really optimize all of the features that it offers. If you have any comments, I would welcome the feedback. So now getting back to my experience. So why am I sitting here filming for the third time the content for episode number two? Well, truth be told, when I started editing that footage, I just frankly was bored out of my mind. I opted to have ChatGPT act as a viewer of my content and ask me questions about my motivations and my intent for the channels and all of these things. So I was sharing all of that in that original footage. And frankly, it just it got really boring because I didn't have any experience. I was putting myself in the shoes of you and complete strangers who were watching this content to find something meaningful and valuable in it. And to be honest, there was neither. <laughs> Why would I, as a casual viewer, be interested in the information that I had on that original footage? I think the thing that changed my perspective is actually facing the reality that the product that I created with that first episode is actually now live. And although most of my views at this point in time are from my friends and family and my personal circle who know me, there are actually some views on there that are from complete strangers. And that absolutely shifted my perspective in really trying to be mindful of what I want this content to be meaningful and valuable to everyone, to the broad public. So nobody cares about me. Once I started reviewing the footage and putting my kind of viewer perspective on and looking at it with a more discerning eye, I started questioning, would I care if this stranger that I'm watching on YouTube, would I care about what I have to say or what's being said? Is there anything meaningful or valuable in the content that I'm sharing? And truth be told, no, there wasn't. I was being asked questions from an artificial intelligent platform and then I was responding to the questions. And frankly, it was just, it was drivel. <laughs> and so shortly into my efforts of editing that video, I just decided that I was gonna take that content and do a quick little sizzle reel of a couple of clips from those initial recordings and add them in at some point. And so I'm going to take a step back and I am going to focus on some of the topics that I intended to cover, but I'm going to try to do it in a more meaningful and effective way to be determined if I succeed in that goal. And over here at Strategically Helpful, I'm going to be focusing on this whole fish out of water, brand new content creator journey that I'm on. I really have no knowledge whatsoever. I don't have any context. I'm that person that friends and family had to take a screenshot of the Facebook post and then send it to me if they wanted to share it with me because they couldn't share it with me on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or whatever the case may be. Now with the introduction of AI, it seems like we're standing at the gateway of a major revolution in the world of technology and how people interact with technology and with each other over the internet. 
And I'm just really excited to go on this journey to find out all about it. And I do feel that my perspective on this journey is one that is not very commonly found on the internet. I watched a lot of YouTube videos amping up to become a YouTube content creator. And there's a lot of people out there who are putting content out about how to become a YouTube content creator and how to do this thing that they've been doing for years. And so I just felt like, well, I have no idea if I will be a success or a flaming failure, but I do know that I'm motivated to share meaningful information that I hope other people find valuable and informative, maybe educational, and I'm up for the challenge. I'm enjoying the process of really breaking out of my comfort zone, challenging myself and expanding my horizons. I hope that my content entertains, informs, and puts a smile on your face. So if it does, please consider giving me a thumbs up because that does matter in getting my content out to more people. If you have any feedback or suggestions or questions, I would love to connect with you. And if you wanna follow along in my journey, please consider subscribing. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.